up, Wildcats? I'm your host, Emma Salgado, and it's that time to hear the Negro Woot news for the jam-packed week of September 11th. Now, Friday night left us all asking one question. Wabonzi who? Our Wildcats pummeled the Warriors in a great game, ending 29 to seven. What an awesome way to start the season. Congrats to the boys and enjoy the taste of that War of 204 win two years in a row. Last Friday morning, Negro was featured on WCIU's The Jam. Shout out to Star Raiders, Cheer, Dance, a few football players, marching band, and some of the Gold Rush for being at school at 6 a.m. to show off your school spirit ahead of the War of 204 game. You represented Nequa well. Speaking of band, we got a taste of some Nequa tradition as the Marching Wildcats took over the field to perform this year's Fiddler on the Roof show. Led by drum majors Julia Paschal, Ryan Lee, and McKenna Jansky, we got to see three out of four amazing movements for the show. That many movements has never been ready for the first game in Marching Wildcat history. Way to go, band. Now, football wasn't the only sport to take the dub this week. Shout out to Girls Tennis for sweeping the court at the Wabonzi Invite. Girls Swimming started their season with a splash as the freshman and sophomore team won the Nequa Valley Invite and Varsity placed second out of eight teams. Make sure to come out tonight and support Girls Volleyball for their Breast Cancer Prevention and Research Fundraiser game. Varsity plays at six against Matea and you don't want to miss it. So much good news, so keep it coming. Make sure to slam that follow button on our Twitter, at What's Up Wildcats, and tag us with your Valley victories to be featured in upcoming episodes. Be sure to tune in next Tuesday with the marvelous Evan Morales. Have an absolutely wonderful week, Wildcats, as I have Sal gotta go.